Allow me to ask you a question. Has your pride been hurt? I want to ask you to pray for those who have hurt you. The more you pray for them, the softer the heart will get to be able to mend relationships and move on. I know it's difficult. I know when our pride is hurt, we feel like we have been destroyed from the inside. We wish that we could have experienced some external pain because the pain that we're feeling on the inside would kind of dissipate when we would feel external pain because our ego, our emotions, our pride has been hurt in a way in which we feel that we cannot make it. God is inviting you today to let go of those things. He understands. He understands that maybe what they did to you was wrong, that maybe what was said to you was hurtful. But see, Jesus said, pray for those who hurt you or those who persecute you. Allow me to read this verse for you. Matthew chapter five, verse five says, God blesses those who are humble for they will inherit the whole earth. See, today we're talking about humility. We're not talking about pride. We're talking about being humble enough to understand that in the midst of the situation that we're living where we have been humiliated, probably. Maybe we have been hurt by our pride being challenged. See, we're talking about being in a way that God will use what we went through to be able to do something in us, but also for others. See, he invites you to pray for those who have hurt you. He invites you to intercede for those who probably wrongfully made you go through what you went through. And let me share this with you. He says, humble yourself before me. In other words, you're not humbling yourself before the person that hurt you. You're humbling yourself before him, before the God that can fix all things. And he says, humble yourself before me. He says, I am suggesting to you that you would just kind of render all those things to me so that I can do something with what you went through so that I can help you with the challenges that you're facing. See, we have to understand he's the one that came to save us. He's the one that came to rescue us even from ourselves because we hurt ourselves. Sometimes we do things that, that hurt people that, that hurt ourselves. decisions that we make that puts us in situations where, where we sometimes feel like we cannot even forgive ourselves. See, you can't forgive yourself because you don't have that capacity, but God has the capacity to forgive you through the blood of his son, Jesus Christ. And the Bible is inviting us to humble ourselves before him. And he says, listen, God blesses those who are humble. God blesses those who would just take all that pride and all that, uh, things that have done to you that, that hurt you. And if you surrender it to him, he can make you whole. He can make you better. He can help you love those people who have hurt you. Now, I'm not saying that you have to forget the fact that something happened. You might have to maybe figure out a, a, a different way to relate with those people, but you can't really outcast them. I hear a lot during uh, this last couple of years that you can separate yourself from those people who are toxic to you. And yes, I do understand that there are things you have to protect yourself from, but see humility does things in a complete different way. See, we've offended God so many ways, so many times we've offended his holiness. We've offended his presence before us. Sometimes we have done things that just make us deserving of punishment, but because of humility, because he doesn't count those things against us. See, the Bible says that he humbled himself to a death and a death on a cross, which means he being like God, he who, who had a title and a position was willing to let go of that. And he humbled himself so that his relationship with you and I could be made what whole could be brought to restoration. So today I want to ask you to ask God for forgiveness for those moments in which you have probably created difficult moments 
Maybe you can ask God for forgiveness for hurting people. Maybe you can ask God for forgiveness because your pride has not allowed you to pray those for, for those, I'm sorry, who have hurt you. So I just want to ask you to do this because humility might not always be easy, but it will always reap the greatest rewards. I want to encourage you to grab those things that have been done to you and give them to him so that he can make you who he wants you to be. We'll see you next time.